and welcome back to Step by Step. Um, this video is about snails, uh, which is a bit different from my normal videos, which are all about water quality and fish and things, but um, yeah, snails. Um, it's also in a, a bit of a way about algae as well, and I'll say I call it algae, others might call it algae, but anyway, algae. Um, snails are a useful part of what would be called a clean-up crew. And in fact, they are probably the best of all the uh, clean-up crew, you know, shrimps and things like that. Uh, snails are a really good thing to have in your aquarium. But you've got to have the right snails. You get the wrong snails, and before you know it, you've got a massive snail population issue that is very hard to deal with. Um, and, you, you, you know, trying to solve that is not straightforward when you have literally snails all over, all over the place, and that's what you'll get with snails normally. So this is about how you control algae growth on your tank, and I think most people will have algae, uh, spot algae, which is a green, and uh, this is a new aquarium, and I've already started just to see some signs of algae on there, and I don't know why, I have no idea, but the best place to look for algae is, you know the wire that feeds uh, the heater, if you've got a heater, the white wire? Um, when that starts to have bits of green on it, that's probably the first sign of algae in your aquarium. Now, don't go down the chemical route. Don't go starting chasing on the internet about algae control and all that sort of stuff, because there's plenty of chemicals, but by adding chemicals, you're sort of, you're changing other parameters in the aquarium and you need a, you need a biological solution to that. So my recommendation is snails, um, but I'm only gonna make one recommendation and it's these things in here and these are called nerite snails. Um, so what are nerite snails? I, I, there's lots of snails, but these are a bit different to your normal snail and this is why I'm going to recommend them. Because these won't breed, is the first thing to say. And that is a really big, important thing when you have an aquarium. Uh, you know, you don't want snails all over the place. So uh, nerite snails won't breed in your aquarium. Um, they may lay eggs, but those eggs won't hatch um, because they, they actually need brackish water for uh, to produce young, in effect. And nerite snails, uh, they can be found all over the world, um, but some of the ones that normally are associated with aquariums are from Africa, South Africa, or you know, parts of Asia. Um, so, yeah, so what are, what are they? Well, they are a snail that can live and tolerate a broad range of um, aquatic uh, environments. It can actually come out and live outside the water for quite a period of time as well. So if you get them, don't be surprised if you see them up the tank, uh, which is good because they'll also uh, clean algae that's outside the water as well. Um, and they are, in terms of a clean-up machine, uh, they are the answer to an algae problem. Um, if, you, if you get them at the right time, really, you're not going to have much of an algae sort of problem. Um, are they easy to look after? Yes, <laughs> they're totally... You put them in your aquarium and you, you, you forget about them. Um, do they have an impact with other things in the aquarium? Absolutely not. Um, they're very docile. They won't have any effect on anything like shrimps, fish, or, and, and also... Uh, the other way around as well, um, sort of fish and other, other things, just leave them alone. So they just get on with it, really. Uh, that's sort of what they do. Um, so they're a nice choice of snail to have. Um, and the other good, the, the other good thing is that there are different types. Um, I'll just mention some: the zebra, tiger, olive, horned, uh, racer. Which I haven't seen racers, but apparently they move a bit faster than the rest. But um, and you can get all different colours, blacks, reds, all sorts of colours. Um, the ones I have in here um, are uh, zebra, um, I've also got uh, horned or, or bumblebee, uh, they're sort of black and yellow stripes. So in terms of breeding, as I said, 
and most shops will uh, make a, a statement that they will not breed. Okay, they will they will breed. They can breed in fresh water. They can lay eggs, but those eggs will not hatch. Okay, you have to put them in a, um, a saline, uh, brackish water uh, tank environment for that to happen. So and quite unusually, compared to other snails, is they need a male and a female to breed as well. Uh, most snails uh, can breed asexually, um, if that's the right word, um, sort of hermaphrodites. Um, so they, you know, they don't need that. Yeah, they can reproduce um, without that. These need it needs a male and a female. So that I, and you, you can tell them apart. Um, um, I haven't really looked into it. Um, so I have two in here. <clears throat> I have a little one here, which, whose name is Lightning, because um, he's he's struck. You won't be able to see. I'll show you closer. But he's got um, stripes that sort of sort of break a bit like a, a lightning bolt. And another one, him. That one's called Stripey. Um, so that uh, these are zebra um, sort of nerites. <clears throat> In terms of water parameters, we'll say um, they need ideally a pH between seven and eight. Um, temperature between twenty to thirty degrees centigrade is their preferred range. Uh, they do prefer warmer waters. Uh, warmer water. Um, Lifespan, um, normally two to three years, but uh, they can go well over five years. Uh, so, you know, they are, um, if you like, a long-term pet for an aquarium. <laughs> um, nitrate, yeah, they're a bit more, um, they can be a little bit affected by uh, when, uh, sort of high uh, levels of nitrate, but generally, in a biob, I would say that you're uh, you're fairly okay, with, you know, with the sort of levels that you would expect within um, a normally stocked stocked sort of biob. How many is, uh, I suppose, another question. Well, in a 30 litre biob, you you should only be looking at um, uh, one or two, really. Um, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't really. I, I mean, I've seen um, sort of videos or, or pictures of people more than that, but I think. Just having one or two, because in a way, you know, you need to make sure there's enough food for them. Unless you're going to start feeding them um, uh, separate uh, food, which I would <laughs> suggest that you, want to, you don't want to do that as well. Um, so you, you just want them to just keep on top of the algae that uh, that grows in your aquarium, and one or two should just do that really. Um, when should you get them? Um, probably when your aquarium's around about a month. Um, so old if you like um, so you know it's fairly stable um, you know um, it's around about the month uh, after a month that you might start to see the first signs of algae so what do they eat? Well they don't eat plants uh, they will help will clean up some of the food but they are, they, they tend to focus on algae and also biofilm uh, now biofilm is a sort of a product of food, protein, and a range of things. You, if you put your hand sometimes into your aquarium and feel the inside of the uh, the, uh, the tank, you'll, you'll feel a slightly slimy um, uh, substance, and, and that in effect is biofilm. So, so they'll clear up that. Uh, they keep everything clean, tidy. They don't cost anything really, apart from your initial initial purchase. Where can you get them from? Um, you can get them off the likes of eBay uh, quite easily. If you if you order them in the post, they come in a little box. Probably looking something like a little box like this. Um, <clears throat> so I, I will talk about how you should introduce them um, because you're only getting one or two. I mean, my suggestion is that uh, because they vary in their appearance. Um, if your local um, sort of aquarium uh, shop has and sells them, my suggestion is you go down to your shop and choose the one or two that you actually like. Uh, if you order them, you'll get whatever comes, which is fine. But, you know, um, there, there's quite a large variation in colours and, and the banding on them. So you, you might as well, uh, if, if you're going to have one of these for five years, <laughs> you might as well choose one that you actually like. So, so go and choose them. Uh, from your aquarium if you can, otherwise just order them online, they'll come in the post, uh, it won't affect them. So how should you introduce them into your tank? Well when you get them, and it, 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 
it partly depends on how you've obtained them. If they come in a box, so if you've ordered them, uh, they, they tend to come in a bag and often with a, a small piece of um, uh, you know, sponge, you know, something wet just to keep the moisture Sorry. in. So those snails, if you get them that way through the post, uh, need to be acclimatised. And I would, I would just suggest, doesn't matter where you get them from, you should, you should almost treat, treat them like a, um, a fish, I think is the only way to say. Um, some, some places just literally say dump them into your aquarium, and I'm not sure that's the best thing to do. So. Um, if, if, you, if you order them or purchase them from the shop, I suggest you get a little small container. Um, I'll take these two out. Come on you, stripey and lightning. <laughs> um, you just need a, a small container like this uh, and you get your snails um, and basically you put them into there and then you just float that on the surface of your water. Uh, for, I'd say for about 30 minutes, just for the temperature. And then what you want to do is get one of these again. Um, you just want to uh, get some aquarium water and just put, you know, three, four, five drops in. Uh, give it another 10 minutes, then put another three, four, five drops in. And just keep doing that for about half an hour. Um, and, and that should really see them fairly acclimatised, really. You know, the temperature that they're in will, will reflect the water in, in, in there. So, so that... So that's it, that's uh, Nerite snails, and they are my uh, recommendation. If, if you want to con uh, control algae, uh, avoid the, the chemical route, um, and have something that's quite attractive in, in your aquarium, that sort of looks after itself. So that's, so that's what I, I suggest for your aquarium. Um, uh, Nerite snails, um, you should better get them anywhere. Um, they are really what you need and um, they won't add to your bioload. Uh, bioload being the amount of uh, nitrate and other things produced. Uh, they, they're not really, they're a bit like shrimps in a way. They're, they're not really going to add a, a great deal to that. Uh, they'll keep your aquarium nice and clean. You've got different choices. I suggest you maybe get, vary the types you want. You know, um, choose the two that you would like in your aquarium. It doesn't matter if they're small, they will grow, uh, no problem at all. And you should have them for quite a long time. So there you are. I'm going to put these, I will put these back in. But as I said, they're quite happy outside the water as much as they are inside the water. Um, they are, they can be known as a bit of an escape artist. <laughs> so I, know that I think you're fine with the bio because you have a lid on. But if it was an aquarium without a lid, they, they, can, they can actually go off for a, uh, I was going to say for a walk, uh, walk's the wrong word, a crawl on their foot. Um, so, <laughs> so I think you're fine. Uh, they, and I said, they, they will, you, you, will, you, you will sometimes see them above the water level, uh, you know, that's fine. Uh, they're quite happy. They, they're just clearing up algae and other sort of things higher up. So, yeah, they are um, a very good, helpful thing to get. So that's it for this video, uh, a video all about snails um, and very nice looking snails as well. I hope you look into them. I hope you think, yeah, I want some of those. Uh, lots of different uh, choice uh, of, of appearance and colours and a range of things. So look into them. Um, certainly recommended. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching the video. Um, oh, and thanks for all the comments, by the way. There's lots of comments being generated on, on, the, uh, on the channel, and I, I really appreciate hearing from people. Um, it's nice to know I'm not just talking to a camera and nobody's listening. So that, that's good. So, that, so that's it from me. Um, and okay, I, oh, sorry, hang on. Yeah, okay, okay I, I will do, I will do. Um, yes, they just said don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. <laughs> Take care.